<clears throat> All right, so we're gonna do a quick overview of Boba Fett in his Tython Tusken Raider look and converting that to his reclaimed armor look. So for this one, I used the new Boba Fett Tython figure, of course. Um, he's got his Uncle Fester look, and I also used the Return of the Jedi Deluxe figure that came out, what, last year, year and a half ago? And basically, this is just like a combination of both of those figures, and what's really neat is that the reclaimed armor is completely removable, obviously, but also uh, goes back on the figure just like, you know, it wouldn't, I guess, in real life. So in order to do that, we'll just go ahead and... Actually, before we do that... Let's go ahead and check out the armor before we put all of it on Boba Fett. So first thing we'll look at is the helmet here. Uh, nothing too crazy here, just uh, did a black wash, did some silver dry brushing. I also did add foam into the interior of the helmet to help it kind of just stay on the head a bit more securely. Other than that though, not a lot going on. the armor itself so uh, or like the body armor um that's just the overlay the rubber overlay that was on the return of the jedi figure i just you know slice that down the sides you can just peel it right off the um return of the jedi figure i went over that in like multiple washes silver dry brushing um and you just get all the weather detail i then Let's see. So <laughs> for the right gauntlet, that was tough. The left gauntlet, which we'll take a look at in a minute, that was easy. I just dremeled that one out. This one, though, it was, um, long story short, it was just too small for the uh, forearm of the Tython Boba Fett figure. So for this one, I routed it out with a dremel tool. But I basically, I mean, just long story short, had to uh, <laughs> embiggen the forearm you can see how it's shoddily it's done here with just some pla this is almost like a proof of concept that just like i got lazy and was like whatever this, this is fine i used like um some plastic from a bubble tray and essentially just cut it to fit the forearm and glued it in place i was essentially just gonna like i think my original intent was to do that and like sculpt over it or something like that just fully blend it into the forearm um you can kind of see where I said F it <laughs> and just paint it over it um, just because I wanted it done. I might very well go back and re-sculpt over it one day, but for the time being, um, especially as I was figuring out whether this would actually work or not, it, it does the job. I used uh, wire, very thin gauge wire, uh, in place of the original plastic wiring that was um, on the Return of the Jedi figure. I just glued that in place and then that gets routed up the shoulder pad and glued under the shoulder pad and all that stays together. The other gauntlet, like we talked about, is just dremeled out. And that that's all I had to do. And it just easily slides over the forearm. Knee pads, I just added some elastic on the back so you can just easily add those on the, uh, on the legs that you'll see. Jetpack. I was originally just going to paint the um, the silver piece right here, but then I was like, man, you know what? I've got some of this extra really thin plastic left over from uh, working on that, that gauntlet, so let's just add a little bit more onto this jetpack. I just cut a strip, glued it on, and then painted it. And it's cool. It adds a little bit of a three-dimensional quality. You can see where the wash kind of got in under there, so it makes it really stand out. It looks like a separate piece because it is a separate piece. Other than that, just black washed it, silver dry brush. I did that black wash silver dry brush for all the armor pieces, essentially. All right, we looked at all the pieces. Now let's convert the figure. Let's see if we can refocus and here we go. And what I like about this, I think I mentioned it like on my Instagram work in progress post, this figure it's very reminiscent of um i think kenner did like a bruce wayne to batman figure back in um the 90s no it would have been yeah it would have been 89 and uh it was just like you know michael keaton batman um oh you can see here right if you want just the unrobed look you can do that too ah, 
there we go. And I did some washing and dry brushing um, over the rest of the figure just to bring out those details. But where were we? Anyway, Kenner, Michael Keaton, Batman. <laughs> and uh, it had a play feature where you could just add armor onto the uh, Bruce Wayne figure, had a removable mask and cowl and cape and all that. And you would convert Bruce Wayne into Batman, just like magic. Take off the hands, by the way. I'm gonna need to take those off for this. So this was, as I was working on the figure, that's kind of what I had in mind of just like, oh boy, that would be really neat to have that. This is, <laughs> you know, Hasbro calls these deluxe figure releases. It'd be really cool if this is what you got, you know, actual removable pieces. Um, take the scarf piece, put it back here, pop the head back on, pop. got one gauntlet on. Put the other gauntlet on you can you you probably heard that little sound i mean it's it's a snug fit but it's not you know too tight that it won't go on wash and dry brush on all the you know other parts like the hands as well and let's see actually let's do the knee pad i guess it's accurate to only have one knee pad i think you only had one knee pad on the show or in the episode that he had this get up so if you want the second one you could add that you could just pop it on there i'm going to leave it off take the jet pack i did have to drill a small hole in the tython bobo figure in his back just so that the jet pack would peg in and finally there we go Boba Fett is Tython reclaimed armor, and he's looking pretty badass. Again, love the play feature on this. Love being able to take it from unarmored to armored. Got the weathering, got all these pieces. This is what the deluxe figure should have been, you know? Um, thank you so much for watching. Check out the Instagram for more pictures, and let me know what you think. Catch you next time.